Energoatom reports that Chernobyl nuclear power plant has no electricity again. Russian occupiers have seized the nuclear power plant and damaged the power line once again. It had been repaired just yesterday. Ukrainergo emphasizes that Chernobyl NPP cannot remain without power supply. This is a security issue not only for Ukraine, but for the whole Europe. The Chernobyl disaster may happen again. In addition, Chernobyl staff who have not been shifted since the beginning of the military aggression are psychologically and physically exhausted and unable to provide quality maintenance to the power plant. So, the only guarantee of Chernobyl's security is the complete withdrawal of Russian troops from the plant. Russian troops attack Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. One person killed and six injured as the Russian cruise missile fragments fell right in the middle of the city in Kurenivka district. Surveillance cameras recorded the moment of collision. Windows were blown out and balconies damaged in the houses nearby. Ground floors were destroyed. A few hours earlier, a shell hit a nine-story residential building in Obolon district. Here, one person died as well. Ten city residents were injured. On March the 14th in the morning, Russian troops launched another missile strike on Kharkiv city center. The occupiers have almost destroyed a residential building. Kharkiv regional police say that Russian occupiers have repeatedly attacked residential areas, hospitals, infrastructure and industrial enterprises. A kindergarten was also destroyed near Armiska metro station in the shelling. Since the beginning of the war in Ukraine, Russian occupiers have damaged more than 100 hospitals and destroyed seven medical institutions. 34 ambulances were fired upon. Most of them are out of order, announced Minister of Health Viktor Leshko. Since the beginning of the Russian aggression, six medical workers have been killed and 12 seriously injured in the shellings in Ukraine. Russia attacks not only physically. It has been waging an information war against the world and peace for a long time. Зона свободной торговли с Европой это прямая сдача страны, её разорение. В подгузниках 44 человека. Небритых, пьяных, с теми же самыми шевронами. Every day millions of people listen to and read the outright lies of Russian journalists about Nazis in Ukraine, bloodthirsty Europe and envious America. Самый неэффективный альянс, который можно себе только представить. Putin's propaganda stage fake news stories defacing the main rule of journalism, honesty. Это первая из нашей страны колонна с гуманитарной помощью мирному населению Украины. Ребята, кому-то надо, блядь, пожрать от оккупантов. Since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the amount of Russian propaganda has grown to 90% worldwide. The aim of Kremlin mouthpieces is to spread panic, justify the war and undermine the world's attitude to Ukraine. The worst thing is that while the whole civilized world refuses to cooperate with Russia, Russian media are still broadcasting in Europe. The world must know the truth. It has only one interpretation. And Russian TV channels show the opposite. Особый интерес вызвала детальная информация о реализации США на территории Украины Проекта по изучению переноса патогенов дикими птицами. Turn off Russian propaganda. Say no to fakes and war.